Wilder takes charge at Reading. Watford must have fired their coach. Oh, the head coach of Blackburn went to Watford? What? So he went from 8th place Blackburn to 10th place Watford. That's interesting. So I'm curious of where Watford, outgoing head coach. Uh, wait, that was last year. Okay, here, here's the newer ones. Um, so the Watford coach got fired because they were in a poor position. They're tenth. What were they supposed to be at the? Oh, they were supposed to. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I could see why you get fired for that. Uh, Inya Kirby has publicly announced that he may move under the Bosman ruling at the end of his contract. That's fine. Debt ridden Drake FC going this game a slight underdog. I'm going to go with that other formation again. If we can get one more win. All right, let's go to this press conference. With not long to go into the end of the season, Luton are currently lying in 11th place. Why are they asking us? Uh, could Luton leave Jack White Stadium? There's always a chance. You could just need one more result to guarantee survival and avoid relegation this season if things go your way. Can you get the job done? Uh, I can't wait to be done with this season, to be honest. It's been a long, hard slog at times, and hopefully we'll never have to go through that again. Uh, fellow rele relegation candidates Peterborough are playing Sunderland, and they look to continue their fight to stay in the championship. Uh, what do you think would be their chances? There are no easy matches. What sort of sponsor are you looking for from your players? Uh, we want to put things right as soon as possible. Do you have an update on Amari Miller? He's not going to be back. Uh, are you concerned at Ryan Letson's poor performance on loan? Uh, no, because he won't be on the team next year. Because I'm a terrible person who sent him off the loan like Lassie. I think it would be a good idea to hold a team meeting to give the players some words of encouragement ahead of our next championship fixture as we can mathematically avoid relegation. Oh my god. <laughs> How will I screw this up? Ah, okay. Let me loosen up for this team meeting here. <sighs> Talk to the team about survival chances. Three games left. See, I want to be positive. Ignore the fact that we win. Okay. That's that's what I, I just guessed. <laughs> oh man, and we got second place Brentford as one of the games. 
Uh, this is why I wanted to stream early. Get this out of the way so uh, I could go bonkers later the night thinking about it. Uh, they're wanting a draw, but they think Luton will probably win. All right, we got to go out here and shock them. All right, we're in fair form. They're inconsistent. It's a home match. Can you explain Drake FC's recent home slump? If I knew, we wouldn't be having this. Ah, whatever. We haven't had the luck our performances deserve. Uh, where are you looking at? For improvements after a disappointment match. I want us to find a higher level. <laughs> Simon Grayson, he's got Woodrow, Rowe, Barry, and Morris up front today. Bandera and Campbell in midfield. Uh, Amari Bell, Stevens, Lon Witch, and Bree. Carl Darlow in goal. Tony Harrington is the referee today. It's 57 degrees and wet out. This is a big, big game for us. We definitely need points. There's an Ashby heads that way. Careful, Saki. Let's not have another freaking red card in the first 20 minutes of the game. We start today at 51 points, five points out of relegation. I'd love an early go. Ben Goodliff plays it over to Hamilton. Raksaki cuts into the midfield here. He's over on the wrong side, goes back to Bola. Lodgy looking to cross, sends it over to Miles Laburn. Oh, yes! Miles Laburn's 18th goal of the season. It puts us up in the first eight minutes of the game, 1-0. That could be a very, very big goal. We may have to pay Talaji Bola. Corner for them, road to take it. Over the crossbar. We have 0 0.02 XG in a goal. That's interesting. Throw in for them. Bree goes into Morris. Morris plays it in. We'll head it out. Laburn clears it out to Liam Kohler. Bree ends back up with it. Bree up to Morris. Oh, and they get the equalizer in the 21st minute. Jamie Cumming looked like he misplayed that. And it looked like it bounced under him. Nope, he just dove the wrong way. Hamilton didn't cover him very well. Some encouragement here. 27 minutes in. Going for us. And Colin takes it back to Bola. Bola sends it in to Colin. He'll send it back to Laburn. Oh, Laburn almost put it in there, but it's going to be a corner kick instead. Good ball movement. The standings that keep bouncing up and down on the left side of the screen are driving me bonkers. Nell Bennett to take the corner. Bola, it's off the crow. How did we not put that in there? Oh my God, we should have had a goal right there. We still got control, Saki in, plays it over, Stevens. 
Sends it out of the box. Miles Labor and gets it back though. Mullen the Hodge. Hodge over the top. He's going for Janelle Bennett. Bennett looking to play it in. Cuts over. Great move. Takes a shot. It's into the manager parking. 8,000 fans here seeing if we could stay up here this year. Ashby, 36 minutes in. Saki tries to get it to Layburn. Cohen! Oh, what was that? Liam Cohen takes advantage of the goalkeeper's mistake. Saki sent it in. Layburn could get to it. Stevens plays it. No, it was it wasn't the goalkeeper. It was their own player. He kicks it over, and Cohen just heads it past the keeper. 2-1 Drakes on top here, heading toward halftime. If that would have happened against me, I'd have threw a fit, but I'll take it since it's happening. Their keeper showing off his foot skills. Uh-oh, Liam Cohen again. Cohen feels that he wants to stay up. He just signed that big contract. He wants to keep that salary. He goes over to Mullen. Mullen, big shot. It's deflected by Darlow. Bennett Laburn blocked by Darrow. Good save there. 40 minutes in. Bring them to the locker room with a 2 1 lead, it looks like. Ah. Front's playing really well. Everybody's playing okay right now. I'm not going to say too much to them. I'm just going to let them go out there and play. I mean, looking at the standings, even a draw here may be enough. But I'll take three points if we can get it. One back to Hamilton. Luton pushing here. They go over the top. They got Rowe out on the wing. Ashby misplays it. Rowe comes in. He takes a terrible shot. Go kick for Luton Town. How's Lamer and over to Saki. Saki looking to bring it across. It's blocked. Bell tries to come back the other way. Harrison Ashby up to Saki. It falls to Hodge into Janelle Bennett. He'll go back to Talaji Bola. Bola plays it back into Bennett. Bennett's got options. Takes a terrible shot. Not the option we needed to take there. I need to make a change after this. That was Laburn. Bree comes down with it. Longwich. Bradley up the bandana. High. Luton Town looking for the equalizer here in the 70th minute. Play it down to Woodrow. He's got plenty of room to think. Goes to Barry. Takes a shot. It's bad. Okay. Uh, Layburn is wore out. I'm going to bring in Tommy Lay. That's the only change I'm really going to make here. Talk myself out of making another change. Vine takes a big shot. It's over the crossbar. I'm going to drop back and play balance for the last 15 minutes. Brock Saki is wore out. Probably need to get him out of there.
Bring in Freeman. Throw in for us. Tommy Lay. Here's Nashby. Trying to get it in the colon. It's intercepted. Darlow will play it up. Ten minutes to play. Can the Drakes hold on here? Slide tackling like that. No. We'd be intercepted there. It's Laji Bolo. Looking to come the other way. Plays it up. He's got Colin. Colin's got some room. Colin cuts out. He's got people in the box. He sent it across. Nobody was home. Saki's got it. Tommy Lay couldn't be on the receiving end. Hodge saves it. Bellingham. He'll send it back in. They got Colin and I guess he was offside. They didn't say anything. It just went dead. Another chance here. We'll block that shot. We'll take another one. Bring in Cooper. And Coombs. Eight minutes. Three minutes of extra time. Can we hold on? Oh, it's a throw in for them. Ashby's got it. I didn't put on time wasting. It's probably my, this could be my mistake right here. Nail Bennett, Hamilton, like the Bennett. Bellingham. He's going to cross it over. They intercept it. It goes out. That's it. We get the W. Oh my God. We may have just saved our season. Oh, a 2 1 win over Luton Town. Ah, it is. Well done, everyone. We're officially safe. We did it. We did it. Let's go. I gotta quit dancing like Donald Trump. Hypes for safety. <laughs> oh my lord. Woo! And I don't even know what to think about next season. So 53 points. That puts us, uh, what? Eight points out of the relegation zone. Drake FC avoid relegation. On a wet afternoon at Jack White Stadium, there's a huge relief for Drake FC as they secured their championship survival. Nottingham Forest in the playoffs and Laburn. Which we won't have Miles Laburn next season. He honestly has not done as much this year as I thought he would. What are you talking about, AC36? There's no lucky. I'm just good. <laughs> Leeds has been promoted to the Premier League. That was, that was my toughest season from FM22 to FM23. That, that was my toughest season. We're still the worst team on defense. I don't know what I'm going to do to fix that. I'm just going to have to look at what the, the board wants for next season and build a tactic, I guess, around that so they're happy because they, they really were against me this season. So were the fans because I didn't play like direct soccer and that it is just crazy. Talaji Bola. Yeah, we got to figure out what we're going to do with him. We want between 214 and 288. Okay, he pulled it down a little bit. 
he might consider. Monthly staff meeting. Let's see what we got. I'm recommending an Inya Kirby. Sure, whatever. Sure, they're leaving. We should open talks with Will India Pan about a new contract. He's among our best players, and he's been dropping hints about wanting improved terms. We have him until 2026. Why would I go to new terms with him now? I don't think they'll extend his loan deal, but we'll try. I'll try on him. They want me to extend Joe Hodge, too. I, did, I, I know what they're all going to say. I've only had Thai food once, and it was really good, <clears throat> but it's hard to find um, places around here. I'm so happy we stayed up. Oh, my God. I am so, so happy. Oh, I was really, like, worried about that. Ah. Uh. All right, let's go in here for contract and see what Talaji wants. He'll take regular, okay. Um. Oh, that injury release clause. He did not like that. All right, let's see on Joe Hodge. Um, okay, testing in a different environment. I figured that. Testing in a different environment. Okay, whatever. And uh, that's the, yeah, they, they all say that. I don't know why they even suggest it. I'm worried about losing him. He may come around. Um, we'll we'll just have to see. But he was, how much was he hurt this season? Let me let me go in here and just look at this so that I can not hate myself. He missed fourteen percent, ten percent. I don't know. We'll, we'll give him a while to think about it. Like I said, I'm going to have to sit down and like do my contracts or my, I'll sit down and I'll do it at work. I'll, I'll figure out what the board wants, what the fans want, and I'll make some uh, things about that. George Thomas injured again. Oh, I got to remember we have freaking Le uh, Brentford coming up now, not Leeds. They're trying to win the stay up so they can get automatic promotion. Major League Soccer starts today, I believe. Of course, I look on here and none of it's on TV. And they wonder why Americans don't get, like, into 
soccer. Nick Freeman has a broken cheekbone? I mean, he's essentially out for the rest of the season. So why would I pay $7,000 to send him to a specialist? Apple TV. Man, I don't have any Apple products. Ebb's fleet relegated. I think I gotta sit down. As much as I'd love to stand. My uh my sandy ears are not allowing it. Oh. All right, two games left. I may just do a totally rotated squad against Brentford because I don't think we have any chance to beat them. Brentford's game against Sir Francis Drake in the Skybet Championship is set to be a sellout with supporters clamoring to see their team at Brentford Community Stadium. Over 16,300 tickets are expected to be sold for the championship clash. 200 of our fans are going to travel. The club's objective of building a new stadium has finally been realized and their vision for the future is taking... Now, why would they... Uh... I guess they're trying to win... Promotion. It looks like a, with two games left, that's six points. A win would guarantee them promotion. A tie wouldn't do it. Who's left on their schedule? Oh, they got the FA Cup final with Chelsea. But Millwall. 18th. So if they don't get it against us, they'll probably get it against them. Though this one is home. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with the 4 1 4 1 on this match. Brentford are clear favorites. Oh, it's Mr. Bullocks, Thomas Bullocks Frank. Your encounter with Sir Francis Drake on Saturday sees you come up against the jubilant Stephen Thomas, given he has managed to steer his side clear of relegation. How do you feel about the counterpart's recent achievement? I have to congratulate Stephen on his recent performance and achievement. Nobody deserves it more than him. He's one of soccer's finest, and I'll be offering my congratulations to him in person after the match. Oh, ho, ho. Thomas Bullock's Frank has joined in with plaudits coming your way after your recent success. How much of a praise is that fellow? Uh, let's smile. Very appreciative of Thomas Bullock's. <laughs> you must be intent on getting a measure of revenge. Um, it certainly helps to motivate the players. They're currently in second, three points behind league leaders' leads. Were you expecting a win? I guess they are trying to go for a win of the league, too. Training's been excellent. Your team has played well. Uh, confidence breeds confidence. You got one of the poorest defensive. We've been unlucky. <laughs> I don't know how to fix our defense. I really don't. I I have tried everything in the world to fix our defense. And 
I probably play pay I play too far up. With this higher defensive line. I bet if I bring that down, we'll play even better. Let's go more direct. No, let's not. I don't want to change anything else. Brody Hughes is injured again. Well, I'm glad we loaned him in because he's been injured like the whole time. Defeat, defeat. Want to see Miles Laburn build on a good performance last time out. What's Amari Miller's contract? Till next year. We're not paying him a lot, but he didn't play this whole season. <clears throat> uh, Yankee, I actually just bought my Switch. I don't have any games on it yet. Uh, they're in strong form. All right, Thomas Bullock, Frank, he's bringing Sekiri, Damsgaard, and Canos up front. The Silva and Norgard and Mascaro midfield. Lazero, Pinnock, Vanderberg, and Hickey. I think he tore us up last time. And Strakosha in goal. 51 degrees. Darren Bond. Name's Bond. Darren Bond. Is your official. We're wearing our green and blue kits. They are wearing their Indiana Hoosier red and white stripes. I would love to play spoiler against them. Ruin their dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Oh, over the top, Miles Labor, and could he play it down? He got it. Oh, and the defense really wrangled him up. Corner for Brentford. I want to say Stoke. All the red throws me off. Hit that out, Dan's guard. The Silva coming with a big block, and they're going to get a corner. Tommy Lay heads it away. The Silva will play it back. They'll play it back to Hickey. Hickey comes into Norgard. Pinnock out the Dams guard. He puts it in. Cooper's there, and it's offside. We need to pay attention um, to the Burnley game. Burnley's playing Swansea. I wish you could highlight a game here, because that's who's in second. And Stoke, actually, who's playing Watford. Well, Burnley just scored with a penalty, so that's going to make them on edge. I thought they got one right there. They've had 80% possession.
Another throw in for them, 19 minutes in. Oh, Raksaki just crashes into it there. I mean, we're not in a park the bus, but I do have a lot of people back. Oh, Miles Laburn tried to take a shot. It's blocked again. Both times he's got out free in front, they've stopped it. Here's Bennett. They're not loaded on here either. They're not loaded on either of those. Oh, it makes me so mad. Someday, I'll remember to do all that. Nell Bennett tried to play it up. Hickey cuts that off. 27th minute, Brentford. Great, sitting here, nil-nil. Move it up to Dam's guard to Silva. He's going to play it up to Zakiri. Looked like he was offsides. It doesn't matter. He shoots it into the stands. He was offsides. Be a pan. Over to Tucker. Bennett. Slide tackle. Come in hard. Loses possession. The Curie is behind, chips it over the keeper for an easy goal. His 18th of the season, and Brentford goes up 1-0 here in the 28th minute. That was, that was nice. He made a fool out of uh, poor Jamie coming. Thirty-second minute. Let's see if we can get one back before half. Got to go over the Miles Laburn. Oh, Zakiri again! Oh, he hit the post this time. We got lucky. The post helped us. We may go into halftime down one. We are. We have six shots, none on target. They've had eight, three on target with one goal. They're just playing amazing today. Lots of seven pluses. We're not playing bad, but we're not playing amazing either. Open it up a little bit. We've already saved ourselves from relegation. And we're playing a team that's trying to get up to the Premier League. That will probably be in the Premier League next year. So we can't hold this game too much against ourselves. Pinnock with the free kick. Feel like, oh, good defense there. Tommy Lay cut it off. Goes to Tucker. Over the top, we've got two people. Miles Laburn. He takes a shot, and Strakosha got that without. He was backwards. He caught it like this. How is that even possible? He was turned the other way. Five minutes in, free kick for them. Dam's guard to take it. Mm. 
<laughs> He's the Willie Mays. Willie Mays Hayes. Wow, our keeper just got a little embarrassed on that one. They're just so good. They're, they're, this is the, like the point of the game where I've finally seen like the difference between like the tier of player that we have and the tier of player that likes that is up in the Premier League. Kiri through. Uh, three nil. That was a left-footed curve on the run. What? Oh, whoops. We're already on another. My pie coming in. Right, Rex Aki comes in, takes a shot. We're going to get a corner here. Bennett sends it in. Tommy Lay couldn't get a hold of it. <clears throat> I wanted to look at what this dude's uh, stats are. Oh, we can't really see. He's only making $2.54 million a year. He is uh, half of our entire team. Jump change. Ah, AC-36 is throwing shade at me. He said on my friends list, it says I'm currently losing, and it said that for the past few days. It hurts my feelings. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to dump subs out here now. We'll put Jaden Smith up front. This is probably the last time we see Jaden Smith in a Drake's kit. We'll see what happens. They brought in Frazier and Skiglio. Mulling up the racks like he. Oh, Hickey takes that away. Frazier. Mapai. Oh, almost a chance to add to a fourth one there. We've had eight shots, zero on goal. They've had 12, five on goal. Free kick for us. Saki takes it, sends it in. Tommy Lay, and he misses wide. Cooper had a five point something there. Time to get him out. He's just totally outmatched. May have made a mistake spending as much money as I did on him. Got to go over top. Here's Jaden Smith. Smith looking for somebody, waiting for help. It's 5v1. Tucker comes in. Raksaki puts it in. And oh, Bennett. Janelle Bennett tried to get on the board. It didn't happen. I was wanting to get Tommy out, but L. Bennett swings it in. He's back out. Tommy Lay gets it. Tommy Lay's got gloves on, and it's like 70 degrees out or something. 85th minute. Kirby. Inya Kirby comes in. Takes a shot. Vakosha. 
is there. Melbourne. Jason Smith had to be offside. Yeah. Well, this game turned out about the way I thought it would be, unless they put a fourth one in here. I thought it would be three to one at least. I thought we might have scored one, but uh, that did not happen. Yep, there's the game, three nil. Brentford pushing forward in their sold out crowd. Oh, they didn't like that, what? Literally outclassed, and I said not to worry about it. So Brentford is one point behind trying to beat Leeds on the last day. We said Brentford had... I already forgot. Millwall. 18th place Millwall. So that's probably going to be a win for them. And who does Leeds have on the final day? Blackburn, who's eighth. So Leeds has the much tougher game. How upset are you with the, that result coming as it did against a buoyant Stephen Thomas, who you were very vocal in your admiration of before the match? I'm absolutely delighted with the results. Stephen and his side were on a real high, and we had to be at our best to get anything from the match. I'm proud of the performance my boys put in. I don't care. Send my assistant. 